is that prior to this this president being in office, there, there was partisan before, but there was never as much partisan. Well, I told people they were going to elect someone that would that basically would not this country up worse than George Bush did. They didn't like Bush because Bush accomplished things. These people would have hated Ronald Reagan if Ronald Reagan had been alive and president. They would you know, have hated him if they'd been so vindictive against that man. Well, you know, here's the biggest challenge is there's a lot of people that don't like Obama, right, because of the changes that have happened since he's been in office. And as bad as that is, is the person that's coming in to compensate for it. It's going to be worse. worse. If you don't elect Obama, you're going to get... Whoever. I know people are going to think, well, then I should just vote Obama. Ah, uh, no, because uh, no. Obama, you can't give Obama four more years because look what he's done so far. I mean, the country is broke. Look what he's accomplished in a couple of years. If you give him six more years, I'm going to tell you something. It's it's documented. The man says simply, uh, this is this is called a Freudian slip. I, I I don't think I should serve more than one more term. I don't think I should serve more than one more term. You're by constitution. Oh, where he also said, I think eight years is enough as president. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Didn't um, Bloomberg he, say something like that? Before, yeah, Bloomberg helped. Before he was on his third term? Yeah, Bloomberg helped push through the law that, that basically says you can only serve two terms. And then got rid of Giuliani because Giuliani wanted to stay for another couple of months in order to get, finish up what he was doing. You have to get out because the law had been passed. And then Bloomberg served another term. Bloomberg got elected again in violation of the statutes and now says, I think that we need to reinforce these statutes as he's in his third Ill, he's in his ter illegal term. And he now thinks that it's the right thing, that nobody else should serve a third term. So, yeah. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. I mean, it's a, we're really screwed in this country because the Republicans are refusing to run anybody that can win. Mm -hmm. You're gonna, they're gonna find somebody that's going to, to be to the Republican right what Obama was supposed to be to the Democratic left. Mm -hmm. See, since Obama is actually a Muslim, and this is what I keep telling you, I don't care what hell of religion he has. He's the only president in our nation's history that is ashamed. You think that if we. Uh, if we had a Jewish president, that man would be ashamed he was a Jewish president? No. We've seen Catholics who were not ashamed of it. Muslims, we've seen Methodists. You know, uh, Ma you know, we're talking Baptists. They're all proud of the religions they were. This man is a flat-out Muslim, and he's so ashamed of it, he basically he's pissed off the Muslim world. This guy's... Well, he's, he's he really a, has screwed up our Muslim relations. Yeah, they said right now, they have never seen so many deaf to America things as they have under Obama. This guy is putting the Muslim Brotherhood back into power. They've been forbidden by, you know, since the early days of the Egyptian democracy from being in power because they're left wing extreme. They, I mean, these people are doing virgin, checking virginity tests on young ladies now for the purpose of killing them when they take control. Is that ridiculous? That's this, this what's going on. You know, he, they basically, well, I'm not going to put any troops on there. Can we ask him if they would pass a virgin check? Yeah, I'll ask him if his daughters could pass the virgin test. Yeah. Yeah, don't go there. And basically, they don't go there. You're not yeah. supposed Okay, it's you're like not, you're not supposed here's to go a there. rule. You are not to talk about a politician's family unless you're, you're Democrats and Barack Obama. Then it's perfectly acceptable to go after her family. Look at Sarah Palin, folks. They go after her family on a routine basis. Yep. Yeah, you know. The, and so not just the older ones either. The, the, the little 13 year olds and the longer ones. They go after the little baby that's basically got Down syndrome. They go after that child. So, I mean, uh, it's just ridiculous. So, uh, the, the Democrats violate every rule that there is in the books. And, um, like I'm telling people, I told people when this man got elected, unless a Republican learned to kick ass, he's not going to win. Mm -hmm. You can't, you got to stand up to the president. If you don't stand up to the president, you basically, you got a whip in the White House and you refuse to stand up to him because he's a minority member. Well, you no. know, you go run yourself a minority member against him. I'm not talking about Herman Cain. I'm Who's talking about hey, some Bobby guy in his Jingle. 60s. Okay. Um, Bobby Jingle won't because the Republicans don't like Bobby Jingle. I know. Bobby Jingle was a leading man until he did the Republican rebuff to what was it, the State of the Union address? Yeah, you shouldn't, then, you shouldn't have said anything negative. Mm hmm. 
you know, but so he, he was a leader until then. Well, he said something negative about the president. <gasps> mm -hmm. Said Mitt Romney's now. They said he had I mean, he had no chance before because of Romney care, but he said something negative about Obama. He said he was the most piss poor president this nation has ever had. That was the finish of his thing with the Republicans because you don't speak ill of America's greatest president. Well, yeah, I know it makes you wonder what side the Republicans are on, doesn't it? They are seriously. They, you know, it was a joke under Clinton that they were going to put his head on Mount Rushmore. They are seriously trying to figure out which one of the lesser presidents will have his head replaced by Obama's head because of the great things that Obama has done. So, but they're serious about that. They are serious about it, but they cannot think of one great thing he's done. Nothing. There is no great things. The man, he's not going. Uh, okay, uh, I, you know, the Republicans are responsible for the high unemployment rate, but I got. Bin Laden. Republicans, are, George Bush Republicans are responsible for the high gas cost, but I got Bin Laden. Republicans are responsible for the bad state of the health care industry, but I got Bin Laden. George Bush is responsible for the bailouts, but I got Bin Laden. See, part of it is, is this Republicans are really responsible for all those things. You didn't even have to emphasize that you got Bin Laden. Yeah. But they are. We're, we're going to try it this way. We're going to go, we're going to go back to the beginning. Uh, unemployment was 6.9 percent under George Bush. It, it's, it's well over nine and growing under Obama. That's after spending trillions of dollars of money. Gasoline was less than two dollars a gallon. It's hovering around four dollars a gallon. People had uh, they had they were making money on their jobs. Everybody's taking cuts in salary. The businesses were thriving, even though they hit a rough spot. But the automobile industry wasn't doing good, but it was doing better than it is right now. I mean, they all announced that everybody's sales collapsed. All of them. We're talking, here's a good one. Uh, well, our sales for the first first two quarters of this year are going to be less, that they're down compared to last year, which was down. They don't buy any cars. Even, well, they're selling, 10, they're selling 10 million cars this year. No, they're not. Well, you know, the, the environmentalists are basically winning the war, you know. We're good. They're going to have it. They're voting. They're seriously going to push the carbon tax through by uh -huh. the Environmental Protection Agency. The Environmental Protection Agency has a thing in the doing with shutting down Fourth of July this year. I was going to say I was going to bring that up. Yep. yep. You know, San Diego is the first test place. Did, are they really doing that in San Diego? Yeah, they're going to because oh my gosh. It's, a, it's an environmental hazard. That's horrible. No, yeah, but this is what they're doing there. We have a nation basically. <laughs> You know, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men, men are created, created equal. equal. <laughs> yeah, unless you're uh, Barack Obama and you're above everyone else. Um, speaking of liberties, didn't they just have a for Memorial Day? There were people dancing. Oh yeah, we're talking basically. You're no longer the Park Service, which no longer has Park Service on their thing. They have U.S. Parks Police and T-shirts. They say U.S. Parks Police. The U those parks are controlled by the Park Service. They have park ranger uniforms. Mm -hmm. But SEIU has shirts that says U.S. Park Police. Uh. So, uh, and they've been, basically, they're looking into criminal misconduct by the, the oh. U.S. Park Police. Which For arresting FBI agents. Oh, God. Oh, I love that one. And the FBI agents, show them their FBI badge. They didn't they care. Them. You broke the law. I love this. There is no demonstrations allowed on uh, on government property. We the people. You know, there's a demonstrations allowed on any government property. Ask the people that, that basically busted up the, the state house in Wisconsin. Oh, I'm thinking about every time they do protests and they go down the veterans building with their, their signs. Yeah, that's yeah. no, but that's protest. That's it that's different, you know. So but peaceful demonstrations. Peaceful demonstrations. We got people being mugged at airports under Obama. We got ch we got pe children oh. being molested at airports. Well, it can't be all that bad. Oh, the Republicans are terrified. They're going to pass that. Well, if you pass this legislation in your state, we're going to take away all of your transportation money. So, okay, just let the kids be molested, women be molested. Let's sell all the naked pictures of everybody going through the things, uh, because we don't want to. We don't want to get the Democrats pissed off at Republicans. Ooh. I know. Yeah, which is kind of ridiculous. So it's like, as things go, yes, the Democrats. Uh, you know, they, I mean, you, you do they stand a chance? 
Well, they yeah. shouldn't. They shouldn't because... But the Republicans are... The Republicans could not lose this election. I mean, when you can run anyone but Obama... And, and win. And anyone above the Democrats in the South, in the Senate, and win, and you can't put up a person that they can name and win, you can... I know. See, part of it is you can put an unnamed candidate and actually win. Yeah. He wins every time against virtually all the Democrats, the unnamed candidate. Mm -hmm. But there's nobody that's running. I got. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm certain Sarah Palin and Michelle Bachman are nice women, and they're both intelligent women. But we don't need a cheerleader. Why not? We need somebody that goes kick rear in. We've got Ronald Reagan was not Ronald Reagan was not a cheerleader. Ronald Reagan was a leader. Yeah, you do. You and George do Bush was not a cheerleader. Ronald Re George Bush was a leader. And the problem was, uh, we got Bill Clinton was a cheerleader, and he basically everybody liked Bill Clinton, but he, he had a tendency to not pay attention to the laws because he was a Democrat. Everybody really did like Jimmy Carter. Mm -hmm. Everyone liked. Uh, actually, the only Democrat that nobody really liked was Lyndon Johnson. He was a leader. Well, part of it was that was so long ago that most of you don't even know who he no, is. No, but if the, okay, put it except in history books. If you're a leader in a Democratic Party. Your party doesn't like you. Well, see, part of being a leader does not mean you have to be liked. Being a leader means you're supposed to be leading. Yeah, and if you're a Republican and you're a leader, you tend to piss off the the uh, news media. Because Which I always thought if you didn't piss off somebody, you wanted oh, yeah. to be a wallflower because you're not doing anything. Because how many times do you get everybody in a room to all agree on one thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was around, I was doing stuff when Monty Python was shooting the life of Brian. And they said that they'd accomplished everything.